Hello YouTube and Lego fans and welcome to this Lego movie set review. So this is the Getaway Glider set 70800. This is for ages 6 to 12 and comes with a piece count of 104 and currently retails here in the UK for £11.99. That's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Okay guys, there you can see a shot of the instruction manual, small instruction manual and the front of the box. Let's take a look at the rear of the box. Okay guys, there's the rear of the shot of the box showing a scene and um, some of the functions in this particular set. Okay guys, so there's our first look at the set. So the set actually comes with the getaway glider. Um, at the rear there you'll see this cactus tree. And we obviously have the horse um, towards the left. Um, and then the three rather cool minifigures that come with this set. So they are Emmett um, with his precious piece of resistance, which we will show you in a second. The Deputron and Sheriff Not a Robot. So let's take a look at those minifigures first. Okay guys, so first up we have Emmett. You can see here, so we can see his printing. See there on his legs, um, the printing on there with obviously his pass, um, his Emmett pass, um, up into the front of his torso and that front torso printing. So you see his blue arms, you see his face there, his printed face and his hair piece. The red piece there on, the, on his back is obviously the precious piece of resistance. If I just take that off there, you see the clip piece that it's held on with. So let's just quickly remove his well, let's remove his hair there. You can see it's a double sided face. That side and that side. Remove his head and that clip there. So we can get a look at that simple rear torso printing. Okay guys, so that is our first minifigure, Emmett. Okay guys, next up we have our Deputron, you can see here, it comes with this rather cool looking blaster. See some of that printing detail there on the legs, you can see that front torso printing, and on the rear, obviously comes with this brown cowboy style hat, so if we just remove that, and take a Better look there at that head printing and the silver coloured head. Okay, so that's our second minifigure, the Deputron. Okay, and our final minifigure in this set, which I have to say is my favourite, this is the Sheriff Not a Robot. So you can see he does have some front leg print in there. Up into the front of the torso, and that face there with the moustache. Again, the cowboy hat with the um, gold star on there, the sherry star. And you can see that rear torso print, and he comes with these two pistols. You can see. Okay, so let's just remove that hat. Bit of a better look there. That face printing. And the moustache is just moustache is a separate piece, so if we just take his head off. And there's that separate moustache piece. So I'm just going to remove that. Put his head back on so you can see that face printing. Uh, a little bit more detail there. Okay, pretty cool face printing on there. Okay guys, so that was our third and final minifigure, the Sheriff Not A Robot. Okay guys, so next up we have the horse. So a quick look at our horse on both sides there. We have this saddle piece here. Um, the Obviously the face printing to the horse there. Um, this can be, this is posable, so you can put it up like that. So the horse would then be on obviously its rear hind legs. So it could be up 
in that sort of position, uh, which is pretty cool. Okay, move that back down. Okay, so obviously the position there is with the saddle on, but you can remove the saddle and put this solid piece in um, so that obviously the horse looks like it is then bareback. So we will just show you that now. So just simply slot the saddle piece out, put the brick in like so, and obviously there we can see the horse um, without that saddle on. So that is our horse. Okay guys, so I just want to show you the horse with the sheriff, not a robot, obviously in the saddle. So he just simply can slot into place like that. So there we can now see the minifigure riding a horse. We do also have down here these clips so we can, if we want to, remove his pistols and they could just simply slot onto the side like so. Okay guys, there we go. Okay guys, just very very quickly, obviously it's a very simple build this, you can see how it's built, but I think it does look quite good from a basic build, so that's obviously the cactus tree. There we go. Okay guys, the last piece to this set, and I guess which is the main piece, apart from obviously those cool looking minifigures, this is the actual getaway glider itself. Um, yeah, bit of a bizarre build, but then again this Lego movie is all about being very creative and... Uh, yeah, a little bit bizarre, I must say. Um, so we have this chain piece here on these hinged pieces. So they're what will keep Emmett in position when we get him in there, which I'll show you in a second. At the top, we have this weathercock, which does spin all the way around, and that's obviously to help direct Emmett on his getaway glider. Um, the wings can move. Obviously, they are meant to flap, which I think they will be doing in the movie, which I haven't seen yet. As of this date, which is the 9th of February, it's not here in the UK until the 14th, I think. Okay, and at the rear here as well, these pieces can be moved. Like so. Okay guys, so there are a total of four stickers on here, which we can see we obviously have keep, out, and bank. Obviously the B, A and the N and the K bank. Um, we have these cow horn features up here too. There's the underside. Um, that's pretty much it. So let's get Emmett and put him in position on his getaway glider. Okay, so we take Emmett. Emmett just simply fits onto this modified plate tile rather, tile piece there. Using his piece of resistance. So he just simply slots on there like so so then that is Emmett then obviously in position and flying his getaway glider like so okay guys there we go um, that's pretty much my review of this set complete okay there we go that's my review of this set complete the Lego movie getaway glider set 70800 Okay guys, hopefully you did appreciate this review. If you did, please do go ahead and give it that thumbs up. As always, feel free to leave any comments or questions or feedback down in that comments section. If you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!